I am in Iceland. It is both stunningly beautiful and stunningly cold, and it's also a very good place to talk about something you might not know, which is names. Specifically, how a lot of the world's names, perhaps even a majority, don't fit into the English system of names given to you by your parents and then names inherited from your parents. Here in Iceland, for example, the idea that you have a family name handed down generation to generation to generation just doesn't happen. It's rare at best. Instead, children take their parents' first name with son or daughter added to it, which incidentally makes the Icelandic telephone directory a little bit complicated. You have to uh, index by first name and by occupation because there are so few last names in total. And if that sounds strange, well, think of all the people you know whose last names are going to be Thompson or Davidson or Peterson or Jameson. All of those are that Icelandic system, which used to be the English system. It's just changed now, so it is a family name. And beyond that, you have all the people who don't go by their legal name. Technically, even I don't. My legal name is Thomas Scott, but I go by Tom. Add to that the people who go by their middle name or who go by a nickname or who just go by a different name for any number of reasons. Then you've got the cultures who put their family name first, which is always confusing when they're trying to translate over to English. Which brings me to a bit of advice, really. Um, if you're asking for people's names, either on a paper form or online, don't put first name and last name. Don't put, pff, the worst case, Christian name and surname. Just give someone a box to type into. Just ask them what their name is. And for bonus points, then ask them how they want to be addressed. Because, well, if you want to make friends, the best way is to get someone's name right. <laughs>